My hallelujah belongs to you. For you deserve it. You deserve it. Hi. Hello, everybody. Hey, How are hey, you? Kenya. I'm excited. Welcome, I'm welcome. Thank you. Thank feel you. at home. I feel home. Mm. I feel home. We understand it's your first time to be here in Kenya. How do you feel? I feel amazing. This is my first time in Kenya, mm -hmm. and I is is far exceeding my expectations it's gonna be i can't wait to worship here today mm -hmm. yeah. we know you're here because of the concert that is happening on 24th tell yeah. us uh how i we, we, what should you expect from you um intense worship mm -hmm. we're going to give god our all because he deserves it um we're going to be upbeat we're we, not as excited as these guys but uh, we're going to be as energetic as possible and then we're going to be as intimate with the father as we can mm -hmm. Okay, how, how are you going to connect with your people? Because I know you will be performing. Are you planning maybe to be live on Facebook, Twitter? Oh, all of it. Um, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. We're going to be live talking to talking to everybody, sharing what's going on because it's going to be an experience I want everybody all over the world to be a part of. Mm -hmm. You've been doing songs uh, with Nigerian people. Are you the one who reached them out there? The ones who reached you out, especially the Onaga song. It did so well and yes. uh, we really love it. Uh, who who reached uh, who out? So I reached out to Tim Godfrey because I was in Nigeria and I heard this other song he did and I said, hey, we should do a song together. So he said, hey, you got this song called On Naga and we, we did it and it was bigger than I could have ever expected. And then Mercy Chinwo, we did um, to, um, Excess Love remix. That was awesome as well. So I, I love collaborating with Ni Nigerian and all African artists. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, a question? Uh, uh, I, my name is Derek Chadon. Welcome to Kenya. Thank you. Yes, Thank you. Uh, you've done music for good longer time. Yes. I mean, how has it been the journey for you uh, as an international artist, not as yeah. as an international minister? The, the journey has been amazing um, to experience the trends in, in gospel music. Um, and, and inspirational music. It started when we started. We were just a choir from a church. Now here we are in Nairobi, <laughs> worshiping here. Um, so it's been an amazing journey. When we first started, my son was first born. Now he's standing here holding a camera with me. That's how long our, our journey has been. Um, and it's all been rewarding. It's all been amazing, and we're not going to stop. What are your expectations from Kenyans? Because uh, I, I know Kenyans support you and love you so much. What are your expectations now since you're in Kenya? So I expect everyone here in Kenya to be as loud as me on the stage. I, 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 if I have a microphone, so I, I expect you to be even louder than I am when we worship because there's so many of you and you're extremely excited. Ah! <laughs> so, so we're going to do it together tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was checking on your page and uh, saw that you were supposed to release an album. Yes. Of which uh, we've not seen it yet. Yes. The album releases next Friday, September 30th. Uh, it's called Believe Again. It's really inspiring all of ev everyone all over the world to have faith. In spite of any current circumstances, we believe that the, the will of the Lord will be done and that he's still the most powerful and majestic one and he still works miracles. Okay, can you tell us more about our Believe Again album? Because you know it entails so many people and uh, a lot of songs. Tell us more about it. Yeah, so what happened was we did a, we did a writing session with myself Travis Green, my brother, and Chandler Moore. We just came together and started writing songs. And we wrote about four songs and we said, hey, it sounds like we're making a record. Um, so that's how Believe Again came about. And we kept adding and adding. And now we're gonna have about 20 songs on the record. We broke them into two halves. The first half comes out next Friday. The second half comes out early next year. And it, I really believe everyone from across the world will be able to appreciate the sound of this record. Mm -hmm. We are coming to the end of the year and uh, you are here for the first time. We also have a, a president, a new president. Uh, what message do you have for our president? Uh, I, I'm so grateful for what he's going to be able to do here for Kenya. And my prayer is that the Lord be with him always, even in his decision making, even in um, even his collaborations and his connections with other people, that the Lord be with him so he can make the right decisions and lead Kenya in the way it should be led. Mm -hmm. Maybe a challenge. How many Kenyan gospel artists do you, do you know, or gospel minister? Kenyans? Mm -hmm. Oh, 
I don't know anyone from Kenya, but I will find out today. I, here's my, what I want to do today is jump on the stage with a Kenyan artist and just start to worship. Mm -hmm. So don't be surprised if there's a, someone in Kenya and, I, and JJ Harrison just starts singing with them. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, thank you so thank much. You so we much. appreciate and uh, just look at the camera and tell them something, especially our fans and uh, fans from Kenya. Kenya, we are so grateful to be with here for, with you for the first time. This won't be the last time, but for all of you that are here, make sure you worship God with everything you have because he deserves it.